This quick tutorial provides an overview of the Download USGS Rating Curve Data Tool that Gannett Fleming developed. This tool will extract USGS stream gauge data from the internet and save it to a text file. To begin, I have an ArcMap document open, version 10.1 or higher. I'll add in a stream gauges layer and make sure that it has the required field that the tool needs. The field is called site underscore no and it needs to be a text field. So to ensure that it is a text field, I'll look at the field properties and see that the data type is string. So after adding the toolbox to the MXD, I'll double click to execute the tool. I'll select a few string gauges that I want rating curve information for. If the information is available for these gauges, this tool will return the flow versus stage or elevation in a text file. Considering the results I want, I have two options in this tool. The first is if I check this box, it will adjust the stages to elevations and apply a datum conversion. This option is only available if the input data layer has a field called CONV 29 to 88 and it's populated with valid, valid conversion values. So this field does exist in this layer and it is populated with conversion values going from 29 to 88. These values will be used to adjust the vertical datum at the gauge and the rating curve will be returned in elevation in addition to stage. Also with this option in the tool, if this input layer has gauge datum ELEV and gauge datum fields, then the tool will extract this information from the gauge website and populate it as an attribute. So this data layer does include those fields. They're blank right now, but as soon as I run it with this checkbox, it will populate it. The user also has the option to reduce the number of data points in the rating curve to 100. This makes it a lot easier for inclusion into HECRAS. So I went ahead, selected four gauges, drug the data layer into the tool, and I'm going to go ahead and run it. So as I run this, the rating curve information will be written to the dialog and will also be saved out in a text file at the same location as the gauge data. If I selected more than five gauges, the rating curves are not written to the dialog and will only be written to this text file. The tools finished running, so let's take a look at the results. So it processed five gauges and was able to extract the gauge elevation and datum information. All these gauges have rating curves developed and it lists the number of data points found. Don't forget I chose to reduce the number of data points to 100, so that's all that it's going to return in the results. So the information that is returned in the dialog is the point data count. So for this first gauge, it's 1 through 100. And then it also returns the stage, the elevation, the discharge, and then the vertical datum. So not only is this result in this dialog, but it's also in a text file. So I'm going to go to the same location that this layer is saved at, and there's a text document with the same information. This data is easily copied into Excel from the dialog. So not only did I get my results of my rating curve, but it also populated some attributes with the gauge datum elevation at the gauge, and then also what datum, what vertical datum everything is in.